well, it's, it's one of no surprise. Uh, this is just an example of what is going on in South Armagh. These terrorists need to be rooted out. We have been promised in the past that these people would be dealt with. They're not being dealt with. The resources are not given to the PSNA to go in after these people. These people need to be rounded up and taken out of the route and hunted down like the dogs that they are. Because if we don't, are we going to have another 35 years of blood running down through the streets of Newton Hamilton like we did in the past? This is the 34th time that this town has been blew up in this last 40 odd years. That's nearly a bomb a year. And they're telling us that it was great that we're living in a time of peace and nobody wants to go back to the dark old days. This is the dark old days and the sooner they're waking up the better. These IRA men who are teaching these new dissidents how to operate these bombs and how to uh, organise and operate, it is time it's dealt with because there's new individuals within the Republican movement who are coming along but they've been trained by the old members of the IRA. You just don't pick up how to make a bomb in the bar. You don't pick it up uh, by talking to somebody on the street. You're being trained by the experts within the IRA. So when Sinn Féin says they have nothing to do with this, technically they're telling lies because it is their men that they trained in the first place who is actually helping to carry out these attacks. The one here in 1998 that uh, was claimed under something else, I think the INLA, it turned out it was the provisional IRA who planted that. Newton Hammond, they carried out mass murder in this area, but they used different names out over the years of the Troubles, and especially during ceasefires. They carried out the Tully Vall and the King's Mills, all them type of mass massacres. And they used some other gypsy type of name to cover up what they actually, or who was responsible for it. The IRA is behind this. They're helping train them. Sinn Féin and their watered-down wards of peace, they still have the same aim as the dissidents, and that is to unite Ireland. And they are using political terrorism while they are, the dissidents are using military action. The two are working hand in hand. And until Sinn Féin steps out and says what they did in the last 35 years was wrong, these people will continue with their dirty, stinking, cardless, murderous campaign. And the only way we can stop this is for the Chief Constable to give the resources to the people to go in and root them out. And they can be rooted out. If they don't know where they are, well, we can put a sign up outside their houses to point directly to who they are and where they live, because everybody knows who they are. But they'll come out with these watered-down wards that has nothing to do with them, when in reality, they trained them. They're actually helping them out at the minute, and they're giving them political cover, because they don't want policing coming into the area. So in other words, Break the law, boys. We support police and justice, and we not, we'll make sure the police don't be too heavy-handed with us. That's basically what's going on now. They don't want the police coming into here in force and dealing with these terrorists. Well, that has to stop. They need to go in. And if they have to shoot them while they're involved in this activity, while they're out planting bombs, shoot them. Do whatever they have to do. Be under no illusion that these people have support within these areas. People say there is no support for them. There is a world of support for these people because there's people out there who believe the murdering of Protestants are justified. The destroying of businesses and police stations is justified as long as they're British or Protestant known. Listen, these people, especially in this area, this is a small knit community. The Republicans have passed down their trade from generation to generation, from family to family. Basically, the older brothers have trained the younger brothers, or in some cases, the fathers have trained the sons. That's exactly what's going on here. And the only way that can be broken is if they go in and actually root them out. Boys who are actually been released under the Good Friday Agreement, McGinn, the sniper and people like that, need to be rearrested and put back into jail. They were released under the Good Friday Agreement on the condition that they didn't associate or get involved in any type of terrorist activity. They're helping these people out. The slab Murphys of this world are allowed to walk about free. There's a whole hype made about what they're going to do with Slab Murphy. They've done nothing with him. It was all a show. It's the same with John George Hughes and these people. They need to go in and take them out. We made a mistake of staying quiet and trusting our government to do the job for us. Well, this time we're not going to do that. If they don't speak up and try and hold these people accountable, well, we will do it. And if we have to bring in NGOs from Europe or whatever to hold them accountable, so be it. But we're not going to stay silent the way we did before. 
Here's a village that has suffered right through the history of the Troubles, and now we have another bomb sitting on our doorstep. Where is the new Justice Minister? He should be up here looking at the situation, seeing how policing is operating, and seeing that they haven't got the resources on the ground that they need. That's why they couldn't come in here this morning for four hours after they had got word about this bomb, because they knew that there was a possibility of uh, an attack on them coming to the scene here. This is what's going on. Now, the sooner our Justice Minister gets his act together, the better. The law has to be enforced, and the sooner they put the, the police are on the ground and deal with these animals, the better. These people are no better than scum. All they want to do is murder and maim people, especially people from the Protestant community. But under no illusion, they will also murder Catholics. But not as far as I know. Uh, but then the Chief Constable and the Justice Minister and these people, they only seem to know their own postcodes. Uh, if the, if the, the Minister was to come to South Armagh, he'd probably be the first man from the Lions Party ever to come into this part of the country. Probably the first Lions voter or uh, member to put foot in an area like South Armagh. And I'm not trying to benevolent him, but at the end of the day, this man does not understand the nature of the beast that he's dealing with. And he will take advice from the Chief Constable and other Muppets who are pulling the strings at the top, who don't care about the individual policeman on the ground or the individual business on the ground or the Protestants who have to live in fear of their life. This is about intimidation. This is about terrorising the Protestant community. But they're not going to get away with it this time because people like myself are going to stand up and speak out. No longer do we fear these people. And that at the end of the day, we have the ability to take them out through the security forces. So we demand that the security forces be given the resources and they go in and do it. Uh, we're coming up to an election time here now. People need to start voting with their heart, not their head, because they don't know the full facts. They don't know what's going on in this country. And their heart should tell them what they need to do and what way they need to vote. Are we going to live with another 35 years of these people trying to intimidate us into United Ireland? Or are we going to send a clear message that we're going to stand up and we're not going to take any more of this? And I would ask people to consider who they're voting for and what they're voting for. Go to your politicians and ask them, do they, are they going to sit back and let this happen? Are they going to sit back and let us be intimidated for another 35 years? Or are they going to actually do something about it? If they're not going to do anything about it except, except take their wages and enjoy the luxuries of Westminster and the Assembly, well then, it's time we got them out of there and put people in who'll take the fight to the IRA. We keep winning against these people, morally and uh, militarily. We keep defeating them. But our politicians let us down when it comes to negotiating a proper uh, political settlement in Northern Ireland, and they've done it again. Now, people need to start voting with what they believe in, not what they're being told that might work or may not work. We've lived with these people and we know exactly what we're dealing with and we're asking the people in places like Bangor and Hollywood and Port Roche and other areas to sit up and listen to what we're saying. We know the nature of this beast and this beast, the only way you can deal with it is put it down. And the sooner that is done, the better.